What's up you guys, Zoeb here from OneGlanceTrader.com and in this video we'll be releasing a brand new version of the OGT Zone Recovery EA version 1.5. I've got Alistair with me and what we're going to be doing in this particular video is walking you guys through step by step on where you can get the indicator, I mean the EA, um, how to install the EA onto your MT4 platform, and how to run a simple back test. Now, the main reason why we have decided to release a version 1.5 is because a lot of you were coming up with a lot of challenges when opening trades with buy and sell stop issues. Um, and what Alistair's gratefully done, he's gone in and fixed that code as well as some other stuff, which you'll go through in a second. And we thought we'll best to release a new version 1.5. So Alistair, how are you, sir? Very good, thanks. So Ev, how are you? I'm very, very well, thank you. And again, appreciate for you coming back onto the channel, um, fixing some of the uh, issues that the uh, that the community have come up with, and uh, was hoping that you could just run through what those kind of issues were, and then just walk us through step by step on how we can get the Zone Recovery EA working on our charts, and so we can start profiting from it. Right. Yeah. So um, as you know, with the last version of uh, the 1.4 version that we put out on your channel, um, we released the source code um, for the zone recovery. Part of that I had to do some tweaking, um, some copy and pasting, that kind of thing with the source code to make it publishable. Uh, and as a result, it sort of that brought in some bugs into the code, which um, I've, I've fixed uh, with this current version. It's been tested by a couple of users. So we've had uh, one issue um, with pending stop orders being, uh, closing pending stop orders for other charts, um, uh, other charts from the symbol that you're currently looking at. Um, and that was something that was actually picked out on the Toolkit for Traders forum, which is really great with a solution there from, from one of the guys on the forum, which is excellent um, because it reflects that, you know, we're moving this to be a more of a community project uh, where we're all working on making this uh, expert advisor better and more profitable all the time together. Um, the other thing that we looked at was um, we had an error opening trades where it was giving um, an error code for invalid, I think it was invalid um, lots, um, so an incorrect volume for your trade. Um, and that was based on, on some of the, the um, code that I'd had to take out of from one of my libraries that I have. Um, and repurpose it into the zone recovery EA. So I've had to correct that code, um, cross-reference cross it, reference it with the one I normally use and make sure everything's hunky-dory there. Um, and that's tested and gone through and that's been absolutely fine since. So um, we've corrected those bugs and we are looking good. Um, so I'm just, if it's okay with you, I'll just take you through how, how you can get the EA and how to use it if you've not looked at that before. Fantastic. No, appreciate that, Alistair. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so if you go over to the toolkitfortraders.com website, um, I'm sure the link will be in the description below if you uh, need it. Um, you'll get to this homepage, and if you go over to download, um, it will ask you to sign up or log in, in which case I have. It's absolutely free to do that. Uh, I just quickly log in now. Um, and once you're logged in, it will bring up this page here where you can see um, the source code for, the, for my channel and indicators in the future that are coming. But what you're really here for um, is the OGT Zone Recovery. Click the download button there and it will take you to this page with um, a link to Zoom's video and then the download button here. Simply click that button and it will um, give you a folder here uh, and, down the bottom and that will go into your downloads file. And I'm right in saying that even though it says 1.4 on your website, it will download version 1.5 or that'll be updated when we- uh, Yeah, when that, we that's gonna be- that's, Yeah, that's gonna be updated. It's currently downloading 1.5. Um, when this video goes out, it will all say one point, it will say uh, 1. 1.5 5. as well. Yeah, so yeah, it's already set up. So as soon as you click download, you're gonna get 1.5 version as you see here. What you then need to do is you need to go onto your terminal, um, which uh, your MT4 terminal. Uh, you need to click uh, file uh, and then open your data folder. 
um, let that open up, go to MQL4, experts, and then you need to drop your, um, your EX4 file as a minimum. You need to drop that into this folder here so that you can use it. Um, so simply take it from your downloads, copy that there, and then you can paste that in. Um, and that's all you need to do for there. I'm just going to delete that out because I've actually got it in this folder here with all the previous versions and all the rest of it. 1.5 sits there. So once you've copied and pasted it into your data folder, you can close those and then you just, you just need to go to expert advisors. You probably need to click refresh. So right click on expert advisors and click refresh. And then it will bring up uh, version 1.5. Now, if you obviously, if you want to trade with that, I've already got that running on here. You just drag and drop that onto your chart. Um, but if you want to back test it, uh, the way you need to do that is if you go to view, um, strategy tester, it will bring that up at the bottom here. Select the expert advisor you want, which is 1.5. And then set your dates and also set your, um, also set your uh, your inputs that you want for it. There's quite a lot of inputs we've been through in previous videos, but the key one for back testing um, is you need to set the EA mode to uh, RSI MTF. Otherwise, it's going to be manual. It's not going to take any trades while that's running. Um, set that up. Click OK. And the last thing you need to do before um, you click the start button is make sure you've got some history data. So taking note of here, the dates I've put in, which is December uh, last year and um, the whole, well, nearly the whole month. Um, so you need data uh, for M15 that covers that time period. So the way to check that is if you go to tools and history center, bring that up, go to the pair that you're looking at um which in this case is the pound dollar and make sure you've got them colored in um you can see here the colored in uh little data symbols here now the key thing is here if i'm you know i'm testing here on the uh, m15 double click on the m15 um and you need to make sure that the data period i'm looking at which in this case i was going back to um we were going back through December. You need to make sure that data covers December. If you've not got the data that covers that, simply click the download button down here um, and make sure you've got a good number of records. And um, you can see here, I've got uh, 550,000 records. You want something in that region. If you only get a few thousand, it probably means you've only got uh, a month's worth of data, which some brokers will only send you. So you click that again and you'll get the data from um, MetaTrader instead. And that goes a lot further back in time, which is much more useful for back testing. Once you've got that set up, click close and then really just press start. Um, so we'll run that now. And you can see, you can see it going off with, it will show you a graph as it works along. Perfect. Um, and and, and just to say, while this is uh, running behind the scenes, so if you guys are brand new to the uh, zone recovery, the playlist link will be down below, which goes through Alistair walking through all the previous versions and all the input settings and all the changes we've made through the lifespan uh, of this EA. So again, it will go through all of that in more detail. And Alistair is right. The first link inside the description will be uh, the toolkit for traders website. So you can download this uh, again, absolutely free along with the source code. So if you guys want to make changes to it or make the zone recovery EA yourself, your own, you can do that as well as part of this whole process. So it's completely free to the whole community to go and do what you please. Yeah, great. So um, yeah, and that's, that's, that's it basically we've run the back test here and um, you can see it, it slowly goes up over that month uh, you can see it made uh, $16 of profit which is nothing to write home about but it's just a basic back test that shows what it can do um, your biggest lot size you can see here these big drops where you had 0.16 lots so we were only trading an initial lot size in this case of 0.01 lots which is why 
that was so small, but it's the safest way to trade with this. So that, you know, that side of it is totally up to you and, and what you want to do with the system. Brilliant. Well, no, Alistair, like, like I said, again, really appreciate you coming on and giving everyone a, wa a walk through. And uh, as Alistair mentioned that this is a kind of a high risk strategy. I know a lot of you like this kind of concept, which is why uh, we developed it. Uh, but please test this out on a demo uh, and only trade with, you know, a lot of sizes that you're comfortable with. And uh, what you should, guys should see now on the screen is the uh, end screens, which will have the playlist of the Zone Recovery EA, as well as my Forex scalping course as well, because I think you guys will be quite interested in that. So really appreciate your time. And I should see you guys in the next video.